concerned about the proposed reservoir project. I'll let others address the, uh, what I consider the absurdity of an 18 to $20 million project for a water reservoir without a contractual agreement with the city of Detroit. It's my understanding that this is being done simply on the basis of an email. My real concern is that I question whether any of you gentlemen have gone out who voted for this project and chose the Adams Tinkin parcel have even viewed the parcel in question. For your information, it's a beautiful pastoral setting with mature trees, both ringing and within the 10 plus acres. The entire neighborhood treats it as an undeveloped park providing a natural setting for peace, solitude, and the enjoyment of the outdoors. Adjacent to this parcel, east of it, is Adams High School and Van Hoosen Middle School. To the north is a soccer field ringed with homes. The north, excuse me, the west and the south is also entirely homes. It is my understanding that for security reasons, this entire parcel will have to be cleared. This will turn essentially an environmental treasure for the neighborhood into an eyesore. The project itself, I feel, is inconceived. The error has been compounded by selecting from the parcels considered the one most frequented by the neighborhood, the one that is most environmentally attractive and the one that will be most devastating economically for the homeowners with sight lines to that reservoir. In all the cost estimates and projections that may have already been done, I'd like to know, has any provision been done for an arbitrated lower home value settlement for the residents who will be impacted by this? Uh, uh, it is a question. Does, uh, does anybody know? All right, I'm assuming that nothing has been done. Are, are we simply to be considered collateral damage? I would surmise then that if this is the case, you have no intention of addressing the problem of our loss in home value. If I'm correct in this assumption, I would hope you have factored in the cost of litigation because this will end up in the courts and it's going to be an expensive proposition for the homeowners to pursue this and it'll be an expensive proposition for the city to defend it. I think a strong case can be made that the city chose for destruction the most desirable of the considered parcels. All right, thank you. And the one with the largest impact on hope valuations because of the high number of homes involved. Okay, thank you. Thank you. The three minutes, sir. The three minute limit for public comment. Thank you. Three minute limit for public comment. All right. Thank you.